Hey, what's up, guys? Um, first things first, man. Um, I like to apologize to the Houston Texans. Um, when I saw the schedule uh, come out, and I saw um, Pittsburgh was coming into town, I honestly thought that uh, the Texans were going to lose because um, you know they were coming off a Super Bowl appearance there, and we were coming off a five and eleven season. So, you know, I mean, I don't think, not that I was being down on my team. I was, you know, just being realistic, if you will. Um, but don't get me wrong. I'm glad that, you know, they proved me wrong by winning. Um, thank God we had Arian Foster, no doubt. Um, no doubt he was the MVP of that game. Him and uh, the defensive line for uh, pretty much controlling the Steelers offensive line and you know being in in Roethlisberger's like his intimate space if you will all game long man Roth, Roth, Roethlisberger there he he did not look comfortable at all um, and you know everyone talks about what happened with Andre Johnson as we should because you know he is our best player he's our franchise player and um uh, you know, let's just thank God that it's a hamstring injury, not a knee, ACL, or MCL. Because, you know, ACL would have put Andre out for the year. Um, a hamstring, they're saying um, anywhere from like a week to four weeks. Which, you know, missing four weeks uh, is still bad, but at least he's not out for the year. So, you know, there's always a silver silver lining there um back to the game uh like i said foster without a doubt to me was our mvp um Schaub, he didn't necessarily have a great game uh stats wise but you know hey he moved the ball when he had to um found the open guys when he had to and you know i mean it's hard to have a great statistical game without your best weapon out there so and with Foster gashing uh, the Pittsburgh defense the way he was I don't blame uh, Coach Kubiak for calling more run plays and pass plays there at the end and you know I mean not gonna lie this is the kind of game we would have lost last year in the years past um, Uh, not saying no. Not saying that we turned the corner because, you know, we could easily pull um, a New Orleans second half like we did last week. Um, but yeah, this is definitely encouraging to see uh, a kind of performance like this from the fellas. Um, shout out to um, Jason Allen there, uh, who who really he was only playing because. Um, our favorite whipping boy, Kareem Jackson, was inactive for the game. And, um, and, you know, they were picking on Allen a lot that game. And he proved his worth, man, that, you know, he was he was covering well. Uh, Mike Wallace, he, who is probably, if not the fastest, one of definitely one of the fastest guys in the NFL. Um in that game, uh, clinching INT at the end, that, that was huge. That was, you know, that, and that goes without saying. Um, who else? Mario Williams, man, I don't know what got into you, but you look like um, the player that we thought we were getting with the number one overall pick. Um, you know... Man, you know, if, if Mario had, like, the motor or, like, let's say, like, um, not anger, but, like, the mean, uh, the mean, mean streak, you know, like, um, like J.J. Watt or Cushing has, oh, my God, you might as well put Mario in the Hall of Fame now. But, you know, Mario is who he is. He's a nice guy, um, the gentle giant, if you will, but. 
you know, we need we need to get some meanness into you, Mario, man. Because when you play like you did Sunday, you are, without a doubt, beast mode out there. And nobody is going to stop you. I don't care who it is. I don't care what tackle, what guard. I don't care if they put a tight end on your side, man. They, you know, no one's stopping you, Mario. Um, if you play like you did last Sunday against Pittsburgh, so... You know, I'll say overall, not a great game, but a very gritty game. Typical game um, that some, uh, against the Steelers, if you will. Because they make the game ugly, because the way they play. You know, they'll, they'll, they make you grind it out and whatnot. And uh, and that's what we did, man. We we definitely earned that win. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, now we're 3-1. Uh, and one. Got Oakland coming into town Sunday. Hopefully we can keep that rolling, um, and hopefully Andre Johnson comes back sooner than later because we need that guy, man. If we're gonna make a serious run in the playoffs this year, um, you know, having your best player on the field is uh, is key. So, but yeah, go Texans three and one, uh, and got Oakland this Sunday. So, talk to you guys later.